In this video tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to move your files between folders in OneDrive. Now, I'm working in the personal version of OneDrive here. This is provided free of charge to users of Outlook live or hotmail email accounts i'm not going to look at any of the premium or more advanced features that are covered in this particular application however if you are a onedrive for business user which may have been provided by your employer your college your school your university the process is actually the same so although it's onedrive for business versus onedrive personal the way that you move files across your library is still the same so you'll still be able to follow along now i am currently looking at the my files area of my library within onedrive this is a root level and this is where i have for example various files or folders stored so if i go into this documents folder for example you'll see i've got four different files in here whereas if i go into this 2024 folder you'll see i've got a couple of subfolders and then within each of these there are more folders and more folders and then files so how do we move a file from one location one folder to another well there are a couple of different ways that you can do this as with most microsoft applications you can either right click on objects or you can select the object and use the options on the bar at the top or you can also use the three dots here and the options within this menu now if we want to move this individual file the easiest way to do it is to simply right click on it and you'll see you have the option to move to or copy to. So moving a file means you will remove it from its current location and put it into the new location that you choose. Copy to means that you're going to create a copy of that file and move the copied version to the new location. So let's first of all look at how to use move to for one individual file. So I want to move this file here so I'm going to right click and choose move to. And then it's going to ask me here, where do I want to move this file to? Now, in this case, let's just move it straight back to the root level of our library. So if I go to my files, if I want to move it to this location here, all I need to do is simply click move here. And then this file will now be removed from this folder. If we go to my files, you'll see it now appears here. So that's how in the most simple form, you can move one file to another location. Now let's say we want to move that file back to where we just moved it from. We just right click, we go move to, and then what we need to do is we need to locate that folder. So 2024, it was under business, it was under Microsoft Word, 2023 in this case it was, and you'll see it resided here. Now instead of putting it straight into this folder here called 2023, I actually want to create a new folder to put it into, and I'm gonna call that one um, January. Now what I could do is I could have used the My Files menu on the left here and then basically dug down and built the folder as a new folder within that area and then gone into this menu and selected that folder. But because I've not done that, all I need to do is click on the New Folder option and then give it a name. So I'm going to put January 2023, hit Create, and that folder will now be created here. Now the crucial thing is if I just click Move Here, Although I've created the folder, the file is only going to be moved into the 2023 folder. We need it to go into the 2023 January folder. So we click on that folder to go into it. We can now see in the breadcrumbs that this is a folder we're in. We'll click move here. And that file has now been taken from the root level where we moved it a second ago. We're going to go into 2024. We're going to go business, Microsoft Word, 2023. And you'll see in just a second, I might need to refresh here, but the folder will be available. There it is there. And there is a the file there. So we have managed to move that file to a newly created folder at this moment in time. How do we use the copy to option? Well, what we can do is we can right click in the file and we can choose copy to. And as I said earlier, what this allows you to do is to copy this current file to a new location. So I'm going to go into 2024. Let's just click on the new file folder option, should I say. Let's call this one um, admin. Click create. We'll go into the admin folder and we'll choose copy here. And now this one's still going to stay in the January 2023 folder. However, this time, if I go to the 2024 folder, we have our newly created admin folder there and the file lives here. 
Now it is worth noting that although we've copied this across, it's not a live copy. So if I make changes to this folder here and this particular file, let's say for example, I use the rename option and I call this one, it's just, I'm gonna call it document 2023, click rename. We've made a change to this document. However, if I go and take a look at the other document that we copied from, you'll see that it has still got the same name, okay? So although we've moved it across, in fact, I think it was actually this one we moved, here we go, you'll see that it still has the same name as before. So we have copied it across, and then we now have two files which are independent of each other. Now you might be wondering, how do you move more than one file? So let's go into, um, for this one, let's go to documents, and you'll see I've got a couple of files here which I want to move. Well, if you're looking to move two files or three files at once, all you need to do is check the files using the check option on the left-hand side. And instead of using any of the right-click options, just use your options at the top here because you have selected two objects. So we've got two files here. Let's use move to, and let's find the folder where we want to move these to. So again, I'm just going to use 2024. Let's just move them into the admin folder. Click move here and you'll see they now get taken away from here. Let's jump into 2024, let's go to admin, and our files can now be found within here. That's um, just this one and this one here. So hopefully you found that video to be useful. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. If you have any comments about any of the content covered or moving or copying your files, drop them in the comments area below and I'll try my best to help you out. If you haven't already done so, please do consider subscribing to support the channel. And if you enjoyed this video and you're looking to learn a little bit more about using OneDrive, why not check out these videos here?